So this is what I'm dealing with today. This is my three sisters right here, corn, beans, and squash. It is now uh, June 22nd, 2024. And I planted my corn actually way before I planted the squash and the, um, and the beans. And my corn I planted, I soaked it in compost tea, I believe um, April 11th. And I planted them, like actually planted them on the 12th and they germinated maybe about five days or so afterwards. Uh, this is the butter gold corn. And they did pretty well in the first beginning half and i then two weeks afterwards uh did the same thing with the zucchini the squash well i think i figured it out what my mistake was i planted them at the same time in the same bed now i did transplant them i did transplant my corn so that went well pretty much a good little survival rate there got a wasp coming my way um but yeah I planted the corn first, it sprouted up, everything, and then the squash, but I put them in the bed at the exact same time. What I should have done was put the corn in first, let it establish itself for about two weeks, and then plant the squash right behind it. Now, I, every year, replenish my soil with nutrients, so I have a worm compost over there, over yonder, um, that I change out the soil and I put some of the worm compost half and half actually with the zucchini or with this bed that I rebuilt and the watermelon, which is going fabulous this year. Um, but I put that as well as bone meal, blood meal, uh, some alfalfa pellets for nitrogen, you know, just all the goodies up in this bed because you want to have pre-fertile soil before you uh, plant, you know, uh, nitrogen loving plants such as corn squash and all the hot weather plants such as those well the zucchini totally dominated I mean totally dominated it dwarfed the corn some of the corn hadn't even had time to grow big enough and they were growing pretty fast I got a zucchini there I have to harvest so uh, they were growing big but then the zucchini just took off and now it left it in the dust i planted some beans next to the corn maybe a few weeks ago the beans are doing pretty well these are pole beans um have a couple of us others gathered around but um i also gave the corn some liquid fertilizer to give it a boost but unfortunately um, I don't think that I'm going to get any corn out of this batch. Now here in Georgia, zone 8A, I have a long growing season. So um, I have time to plant another little bit of corn. But now it's a question of how. Because my zucchini doesn't show any signs of slowing down. If I want to plant new corn, I would basically have to take all of this out. That's option one. Take all of it out, scrap it, start over knowing that I have at least a good four months before the first frost. Um, the corn here, which is butter gold, it has about 63 days to, um, about 63 days to harvest, but I don't think that includes the germination days. So I may be looking at more like uh, 10 to 13 weeks, probably. This is the only one that has produced corn or an ear. And it's at the bottom. I discovered that yesterday. And unfortunately, all of these started to tassel before corn or silts could even develop. So the tassels have started to fall where the silts should be to pollinate it. And well, I don't, I'm not going to have any corn. I think another one of my mistakes, of course, because I didn't know exactly which one I wanted to call off. <laughs> I just kept both of them. Yeah, I kind of planted two corns right next to each other, so they're competing for resources. Yeah. But um, this one's a standalone. That one, that one, that one in the back. There's one here you can't see. It hasn't grown at all. And I tried to plant more. Maybe that was a couple of weeks ago. But like I said, the zucchini is totally canopying all of this. And... Um, yeah yeah so 
And I'm trying to figure out if I want to just scrap it all or option number two, take the corn out. Well, option number one was technically try to save the corn, but I don't think that that is possible. It's long past this uh, due. Not sure if it's gonna create more. It's probably gonna take a while for the ears to shoot up. Even if I add uh, potassium to the soil, the zucchini is just going to take it over. So one or two things, um, either I can scrap it all or let the zucchini take go ahead and take the corn out let the zucchini have its fun uh, though it doesn't show any signs of slowing down because it's already budding off new leaves and new zucchini so uh, I would have to canopy that off yeah probably canopy that off like take all of that but that's gonna kill the plant unless it's like the smaller shoots of leaves like these that way it gives the corn some time to uh, grow and establish itself in the bin um, but yeah I think that would be a little challenging probably a little challenging I'm not sure yet I'm still thinking through it before I just make a drastic decision because at least the zucchini is um, you know performing very well but I don't want to you know make any drastic decisions on on this hmm and another dilemma is the beans I had already planted the beans and now they're gonna be coming up and without the support of the corn so I would probably have to bamboo off the beans so they can have something to grow up as I replace the corn for the next little bit of season. But I need to make a decision quick because uh, it's gonna take maybe about five to seven days for it to germinate. It needs to get at least about six inches tall, which like I said, in the beginning, it, it was like that. But once I planted the uh, planted them together, zucchini took off and dwarfed the corn, left the corn in the dust. So, Maybe this time it would be more like plant the corn, establish, let it establish itself for about two weeks, and then plant the squash right behind it. And uh, then, of course, the beans. But I don't know. I'm probably going to have to just uproot those beans maybe and put them in another um, pot that companions with beans. I got my bell peppers growing up there. Or maybe just put them in a spot all by itself but um, yeah this is what I'm facing right now with the three sisters like I said they've tasseled off so no ears no silts and this is around the time right now that I should have harvested them from early April when I planted them around April 12th or so on up until now June 20 June 22nd today is yeah they I should have long had at least my first harvest of corn but that's not gonna happen I'm gonna save my resources and figure out how exactly I want to scrap this off without ruining too much of my progress um, but I still got a long way to go it doesn't get cold here until about end of October I know that for a fact because that's our first cold front I'll be in the woods by the end hunting um, but yeah around October 31st so I got a bit of time to think things through but I also wanted to get them Brussels sprouts in beforehand uh, Brussels sprouts probably start doing those maybe around mid September you know while it's still a little bit hot out those are more cold weather plants, but take pretty much good root. But yeah, this is pretty much what I'm dealing with with my three sisters here. So leave a comment on what you think I should do. I'm going to go ahead, I know for sure, and plant more, um, more corn. Uh, at least, you know, start it somewhere. And I'll take it at least from there. So that way I don't lose any time. But uh, yeah like comment share check out the new watering video that i have uh the best time to water your garden got some good info there 
Also, guys, go and check out the new film that I'm a part of. It's called Empathy, now available on Tubi. We just got picked up by The CW as well as Roku TV. Uh, it's a psychological thriller slash fatal attraction dealing with um, these, like, influencers that are about this uh, alpha male beta situation and everything like that. Uh, so it's pretty interesting stuff. I play a news reporter. So uh, you guys... Go check that out. Support. If you're interested in supporting me as an actress, check out my uh, Instagram at Alexandria underscore Denise underscore official. I'll leave the link in the uh, description below as well. It's in my IMDb. Uh, so you guys can check me out there. As always, I really do appreciate the love, patience, and support you guys have given me on this channel. And until then, stay wild.